Hello everyone. Here you can see some percentage of the alcohol that's been produced with help of 9 kilowatt continuous reflux steel. Now here's the steel. Now just a few features of this steel. Here we I am bleeding some heads from the top of the column. Just a good alcohol for alcoholic drinks production. Here we've got some slight leakage, as usual, from under the thread. Here's a steam generator on this side. This particular tube shows the level of the wash within the column. Here's water entails that we cut in. This one can still contain some alcohol, so I'm not throwing it away straight away. Then I, I will cool it down, measure if I've got something, I will run it through this particular steel once more. Not a problem, just where I do with the wash. Um, this particular valve, this one, is for the flow, alcohol flow control and also reflux control. That one up the top, this one controls the amount of heads you can cut, you can bleed from the column. quite big one. Here's a production flow. You can increase or decrease the flow. Here's a submergible pump and it's pumping the wash. It's a sugar-based wash right now. It's pumping the wash into the coal. So the steel is running, running fine without any problems, without any hiccups. Here at the top you can see another tube. It's a alcohol level control tube within the head of the column so I put some mark, the red mark to show where the level is supposed to be so it's a big beast it's heavy but it doesn't occupy half of the workshop or distillery floor just one square meter of the floor area and can process indefinite amount of wash in one go into the drinkable alcohol. Running it at 90% approximately right now. Yeah, and it takes a lot of water for cooling, so some cooling arrangement with a water tank, a radiator would be a good idea. And this is it.